Previously on Why Super Cringe Roleplay. Well, you see, I'm kind of a moron sometimes, and uh. <laughs> I'm very, very rich now. Yes. <laughs> Children get along. I'll turn his cave around. I will save you. <laughs> and then I whisper to him. Also, I wouldn't, I really wouldn't worry about Jokester betraying us. I'm not scared of him at all. No, I think we got this covered. Yeah, okay. Super Vitamin Vegemin. Is he having a stroke? There was a kitten in a tree and there was a fire. It was a big mess, it was a big ordeal. Inside deception check. <laughs> Nat twenty. And now back to our story. Welcome back to Super Cringe Roleplay. I am the Game Master, Aaron Hannington. And I'm joined here with Mikey and Chris. Greetings. Salutations. And Nat and Clint. Hello, my learned friends. Hi. Our adventurers last left off. Um, they they uh, celebrated uh, Smudge's protection of the boat. Uh, they nocturnal went on a, a little walk to find out uh, what exactly happened to Miss Everglades' shop, uh, finding out that uh, she's in bad standings with the hierarchy of the city. Um, he's trying to figure out how to go from here to make things work for her. Um, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, um, interrogated Jokester, um, getting information from him about uh, his whereabouts and in, in the, the attack against Dr. Straw in the earlier episodes. Uh, they prepared themselves to go down into the mines to uh, take out the giant ants. Uh, they've gone down in. They have cleared out one portion of it um, in combat with the ants. They have retreated temporarily to rest and regroup to go back down in. And that is where we will start the evening with Jokester attuning to his daggers. Jokester, I would like you to make an intelligent savings throw. <laughs> 16 16 His tachycardia has acted up again <laughs> <laughs> So The daggers talk to you They say Ah Master We need blood Find us Blood <clears throat> Oh, Varney 
need some blood. He got its first taste of blood. <laughs> <laughs> and the carpet got its first taste of Jokester's Jolly Juice. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell happened? Ah, oh, you're fine. <laughs> Shake it off. The worst case of constipation I have off. ever seen. <laughs> shake, shake, shaking it off. Oh, God. What the hell? Did we all witness this? Yes. I think that just made me a little bit, uh... Creepier? Stranger. I thought we were maxed out on that. <laughs> Apparently not. The cap has been raised. Raising that bar. <laughs> just like our debt ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Sorry, America. <clears throat> My God. I'm going to put that in a different spot. We'll, we'll be okay. There you go. We'll be okay. <laughs> We're going to be all right. Have Good no Lord, idea. compose yourself, man. I have no idea what the hell is going on. You need to know. Neither do we. <sighs> but I kind of like it. Do you love it? I you want, want some more. more of <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> There goes the 15 minutes. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that was about five minutes, so... Uh... <laughs> Christ almighty. <laughs> We're professionals. Don't try this at home. It's not working with me. Sorry, Nate. <sighs> okay, so I guess that means I'm attuned. Yes, you are. Cool. I shall put these away for now. Okay. So, you guys are resting in a room. You've all taken uh, a short rest. You gonna roll some hit dice? Yeah. They came in and healed you. So oh, that's right. Oh, they has, did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they sent for a healer. Sweet. One came in and healed you. My broken leg is fixed. Yes, you're not hobbling anymore. Thank God. <laughs> not yet. Give it time. All right, gentlemen, let's go find some more. Let's go clear out the mine of the ants. Let's get moving. Finish this job. I concur. <laughs> I like can roll. Okay. So you go back to the elevators. The uh, dwarves let you down. They wish you uh, good luck. Uh, happy hunting. <laughs> Glad it's you, not me. Of course. <laughs> we can actually do something about it, so... <laughs> They didn't hear that, did they? Maybe. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Elevator gets lowered. Comes down to, to rest on the lower the, the lower floor. Uh, you have the rest of that eastern tunnel to, to clear out, or you have the, the two, the south and southeast? Let's go east. Okay. West? Let us finish what we have started. Okay. All right. I'll lead the way. Okay. Let's stealth it up first. Okay. Guidance. Whoever wants to stealth, stealth. You got it. Fourteen. Okay. Fifteen. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> <laughs> clink, clink, clink. Twenty-two. <laughs> All right. <laughs> armor is heavier than I'm used to. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nat one, by the way, for, for a zero. <laughs> so, jokester disappears. The two of you, you're, 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 you're hidden. Not super, superbly, but you're hidden. Good enough. Clunk, 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 clunk. <laughs> the, the one, the one giving you the way is in between you guys. <laughs> Cla 
clattering, clattering away. Gentlemen, we're doing really good at stealthing today. <laughs> yes, you're right. Let if the next to him, no one will ever see us. Let the horse next. <laughs> Trot the log. <laughs> Jackass. All right. I'll lead the way. You Put get my it. goggles of night on. All right. Um, the two of you cannot see. No. That's okay, because they can't see me either. Okay. <laughs> so you guys just going through the darkness? I suppose if I lit something, I wouldn't be stealth anymore, would I? No. Yeah, I figured as much. Well, just, I don't really need stealth. I'm just walking straight into walls. and. <laughs> so I need the two of you to uh, roll a D8. But I was going to use my... What? Too late. Oh, I was going to use my... Roll presentation D8. Here. Make a little light so I can see. Okay. So you don't have to roll a d8. Um, six. Six. Do I okay. add anything to that? Or no. Whatever? Okay. He falls into a precipice. <laughs> All right. So the group starts moving along. You actually start walking in an opposite direction when you see this little light and burden shines up. And you can redirect yourself and follow. Come. <laughs> We're stealthing over here, Mr. Jokester. Come. Actually, you guys don't see Jokester. <laughs> oh. he, he is actually hidden very well. He's going the wrong way. <laughs> He's just going the wrong way. Now, slink my way over. Follow okay. the lights. <laughs> Slunk. So, <laughs> you go about 80 feet to where the path widens again. Need you to Roll your perception check. I can't see him. No. It's a hero's roll. It's a good one. One? It's a nat one. <laughs> cool. You like those. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, you're trucking right along. <laughs> Second one in line comes along. Coast is clear, guys. Doctor, roll your perception roll. Guidance. Seventeen? Seventeen. Okay. So, where the remains of the ants are, you see something slunk over, and you can hear the chewing sound. Gentlemen, I hear a chewing sound. Can you describe that chewing sound? <laughs> That's spot on. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> what do you guys do? So, so what do you want us to do about these uh, chilling sounds? Just, uh... I can't see them, right? You can see Burton because oh, he's. He's, yeah, He's got a little ball of light in his hand. I'm the light bringer. Well, we have to move up and get rid of them. You first. Me first? You already lit up. Huh. That's true. And you did so well in the last fight. I did. Now I'm scared. Quite skillful. Hmm. Okay. I will try to approach cautiously and shine my light to see if I can see what's going on here. Okay. As you start approaching, the thing whirls around, has kind of a chunk of ant hanging out of its mouth. Its eyes are yellow. It's a, a pale gray color. Um, it kind of hunches over, looks like Looks like a humanoid of some sort. Long fingers at ending claws. Uh, its un uncovered feet are long toed and ends in claws. And it's just kind of snarling at you as you're approaching. Sir, I've told him this and I will tell you the same thing. You leave 
my ex out of this game. Oh no, he's rolling, he's rolling, he's rolling. Hello, I am the Game Master, Aaron Hannington. If you like what you see here, please like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on our other social medias. Consider joining our Patreon for exclusive contents. And if you don't, I'll give you disadvantage for life. Back to our program. Charge Thing charges you. It only hit you once out of all those. Hmm. The left hand comes scraping down across your chest. I need you to make constitution save. Just like my ex. Roll for alimony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, constitution. The D100. <laughs> okay. It's percentage of your income. 15. 15. All right. So you, you start feeling a burning sensation, and then it just kind of passes. <clears throat> As the thing is clawing and trying to bite you. Gross. Roll for initiative, gentlemen. This ought to be fun since we can't see it. 16. 9. 16. He has a higher dex. Nice. 13. Alright, so... It will be the creature's turn. And then it's going to be Nocturnal. The Doctor... Burden and then jokester. That's a lot of dice. So, Burden, the two claws scrape against you doing nothing, but his teeth sinks into your right shoulder. Oh, it's a him. Yes. Oh. No, Jixie's backsies. <laughs> <laughs> you said what you said. <laughs> it's canonized now. <laughs> no, 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 no. You take six points damage, and I need you to roll Constitution save. <sighs> Just my luck. 17. Okay. Again, you feel a burning sensation and it dissipates. But he does not release his bite. He stays clamped upon your right shoulder. Gross. And it will be nocturnal. Am I positioned to get a clear shot? Yeah. Yeah, you, you can turn You can get to a position so you don't hit him. How far away am I? Uh, you're about 30 feet. I can do that. Do you steady aim? Okay. Thank you. Fifteen. Fifteen hits. Use my long bow. Mm -hmm. Sneak attack. Sixteen points of damage. Okay. I shot. All right, you shoot your arrow. Sinks deep into his left thigh. Right thigh, sorry. It'd be his right thigh to you. Uh, doesn't seem to, to flinch. Just, you know you hit it. You know it took some damage. Just doesn't move. That's not good. Doctor. All right. <clears throat> Toll the dead. Missed it by one. Mm. 10 damage. All right. So the bells ring out. The orange glow comes out. The creature kind of shakes, quivers a little bit. It doesn't let go, though. Burden. It's your turn. All right. Well, I don't like this thing on me. Write a check. It'll leave. <laughs> no, that just keeps it coming back for more. Uh, all right. 
so I'm gonna go ahead and it, it you know, kind of surprised me so I'm just gonna go ahead and raise my mighty meat hammer and I'm going to bring it it's on my right shoulder right mm -hmm. okay yeah and I'm gonna bring it down like this until I hit it in the back of the head okay. trying to get it to release push the teeth in deeper well, technically, when you're when someone's biting you, you know you don't pull. You actually push in, so that way, you know, it forces the jaw to widen, and that gives you a better chance to make it. It's not like you have a lot of experience. That actually works with lions. Well, yeah, we, yeah, we we we've worked in. Yeah. 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 A zoo. Yeah. Yes. Worked yes, in a you zoo. have. Twenty-three. Twenty-three hit. He's not picking up on the cues, though. Cues and cues? What? Find out real soon. Uh, 11 damage. 11 damage. All right. Still has not let go. Damn it. You smack it pretty good on top of its head, but it does not let go. Somebody get this thing off of me. <laughs> Jokester. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Somebody else stick to what's been working and use my short bow. Okay. Uh, sneak attack since I'm stealth. Nine. Nine. <clears throat> does he have advantage because he's stealth? Yes, he does actually. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That one was worse. <laughs> so sticking with a nine. <laughs> sticking with a nine. <laughs> All right. So, so you take your shot, and it just kind of sticks into the armor above Burden's left shoulder. <laughs> and I'm going to uh, attempt to re-stealth. Okay. I still hate you. Sixteen. Okay. That's not a good look. No. No, whatever you're going to say, no. <laughs> so, burden. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you take an additional nine points of slashing damage as its claws just reek down the sides of you. I need you to make a constitution save, please. You're fired. <laughs> well, you best not fail. Oh no, burdens. In <laughs> Dirty twenty. Okay, so you feel the burning sensation from the claws, and it dissipates. <clears throat> but you lose ten points of damage as it sucks the blood from your where it's attached to your right shoulder. Can I interject something? Sure. I was just going to say, he's used to burning sensations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, proceed. <laughs> you couldn't have said that when I lit the fire. No, it had to be that. Okay. So, with the, turn, <laughs> your turn. So, um, I need you to do something now because... Actually, I haven't died for the past few episodes. I'm trying not to die this one, but uh, I'm getting awful close there. We need to get that streak back going. That, that's <laughs> not. That's not. Should have been a barbarian. <laughs> yeah, never going to happen. Nocturnal, your turn. <sighs> Got a feeling this is going to end bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're not using explosives on it. <laughs> He's really thinking about it. I got a bad feeling about this. No. I'm going to run up and try to jump on its back. Oh, okay. And try to stab it in its neck. Okay. Got a real bad feeling about this. I need to restill first. Mm-hmm. 13. No, 15. Yeah. 15? 
That's eight. Yeah, fifteen. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Do I need to roll to jump on it or just attack? No, because you're not. Unless you're really going for a style, you know, you don't have to. Just style know. points. I, I know what you're doing. Gotcha. So if you if you want the points, then yes. <laughs> Got a cocked one. Hold on. Both tens. Hold on. Sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen does hit. Yes. So uh, you jump up there, stab take your dagger, and you stab it in. Nine points of damage. No. Time out. Thirteen points of damage. Thirteen. Okay. Forgot my modifier. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Seems like that would be something you wouldn't forget about. You would think. Well, no, he remembers everyone else's modifier. <laughs> it's been a long night. <laughs> <laughs> and you already did your stealth, so you can't do it again. I'm done. Doctor. Toll the dead. It actually made it this time. So the, the bell starts, and then it stops, and the glow fades. Am I still hanging on its back? You're still hanging on its back. Can I do a and quick glance at it to see if I can tell team. what it is? Sure. Perception, right? Yep. Twelve. You know it's undead. That's about all you get. I know it's undead. Mm-hmm. That's about all you're getting from it. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Burden. Tis your turn. All right, I'm going to attempt to use my strength because I'm tired of this thing, and I'm going to try to just crack its jaw open and get it off of my shoulder. Okay. Fifteen. Nope. You just can't get enough leverage. You try and try, you just can't pry that jaw off your your right shoulder. Sing it a happy tune. <laughs> It'll let you go. Oh, great. <clears throat> yep, I'm just gonna just gonna be frustrated for that I can't get it off me. And, uh, next, uh, jokester. So it's latched on to burden. Mm-hmm. And not not kernels, kernels hanging on hanging its back. On its back. <laughs> Fantastic. You know what you... You got this. No matter what I do, I run the risk of... You know what you need to do. You got this. Shoot through him. <laughs> it got me to the dance so far. So Excuse me. Is there any way I could move to a position to where... I'm like facing but between the two of them. About the only thing you can do is if you hit and get a critical hit, you're not going to hit the two of them. If you miss, you have a chance of hitting one of them. Because they're they're all in close proximity and awesome. Or do something else. Like if you had you a club or something, maybe a dagger or two? Shut up. That being said, I'm going to grab onto my soul eaters. Okay. <clears throat> and I guess I have to roll something. Nope, not right now. You succeeded in your role earlier, so you're good for the day. Sweet. Can we get the abridged version of the transformation? <laughs> Nat one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Roll a d6. One, two, three, it's burden. Four, five, six, it's nocturnal. One. <laughs> so roll the hit burden. <laughs> Net 20. <laughs> so the D6. 
damage? No, you're rolling to hit him. Oh. You don't want to do a critical failure? This auto hit burden, it's fine. Seven. Seven, okay, no, you don't hit. <laughs> okay. Damn. So, so the dagger comes slashing across just above Nocturnal's head and it comes down across your, your mask, but it does not penetrate. <laughs> yeah, I was going to tie you to your bed and set you on fire. <laughs> Still might. You have second dagger. May as well use my, try to use my second dagger. Twenty-four. That one hits. Nice hit. There you go. And for the second hit, would that count as a sneak attack as well, since it's the same turn? Or... No. Okay. No. It'll go for your first attack, not your second. <laughs> That's impressive. In the worst kind of way. <laughs> Did you manage to give it back? Hit points. <laughs> I rolled both ones. <laughs> wow. So no that, damage modifier that on that be, second attack either. That'd be five total. <laughs> no. There's no damage no. modifier. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. So two total. <laughs> That's right. It's my second. Attack. That's the weakest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it rivals Just his bat. <laughs> I've seen a lot of weakness. Doing anything oh. else. I'm going to try it restill. Okay. <laughs> No, he can't. Second attack counts as your bonus oh, action. Oh, that's, that's right. Yep, my bad. I'm sorry. Yep. No problem. Thank I got you. you back. Thank you. That's 19. <laughs> He's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> Let him dream. What? You can't stealth. The bonus action was your second attack. Oh, shit. So, uh, Burden, uh, you take an additional 10 points of damage due to the claws raking down your sides again. And I need you to do a constitution save. Ugh. No, you don't. Okay. Burden <laughs> drops down unconscious, which means you are also prone, and the creature is now trying to turn around to come for you. Oh, my God. They I'm on burn. the back of the monster. Yes. And now it's because he passed out. He fell. You're on top of the monster, and it's trying to turn around. I won't let it. It's a monster <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I will stop him from turning. Okay. What are you trying to do? I'm gonna try to stab with my daggers. Okay. Is he engaged with it now too? Since he's in melee range. Yeah. Thank God. Fourteen. It does not hit. Damn. <laughs> so your dagger dagger just gets deflected by one of his hands as he's turning around, twisting. Need to use my mobility. Bucket. Okay. So you'll use half your your speed to get up, and then you can go the the additional what is it, twenty feet? Twenty. Okay. And uh bonus action stealth. Okay. Twelve. You think you're yeah. hitting pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor. That'll be fine. So I know Burden's out. Is he still holding on to him or did he let go? No, he let go and he twisted around to put his attack against Nocturnal. And then Nocturnal disengaged and disappeared. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Ninja. <laughs> well put. So I'm going to cast Healing Word on Burden. Okay. You heal up to four. Oh, better than what I was at. Guess it's time to die again. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if this makes a difference, but my Toll the Dead damage is necrotic. So I'm going to Toll the Dead on him again. Okay. <clears throat> Toll the dip. He makes it again. All right. As again, the bell rings and dissipates, and that glow disappears. Get up, burden. Oh, I'm getting up. The fuck is this thing? This thing's whipping our asses. 
Does he look like he's... I mean, we've hit him quite a bit, but... It looks like he's getting hurt, and then some of the wounds have actually healed. Matalo con fuego. Allow well, me to translate. <laughs> he said that we should kill it with fire. Impressive. Yeah. Well done. Sweet. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's better. Maybe try moving away and firing. Uh, Wait, uh, uh, whose turn is it? Yours. Oh, sweet. Maybe try moving away. <laughs> Did you say grapple? Yes. For you, yes. Okay, I'm, I'm still prone, right? Yes. Grab its face. It'll be fine. Grapple away, my buddy. This thing, like, still on top of him? Pretty much. <laughs> Go, ahead. Go ahead. Put it in a triangle choke. I think I'm gonna step up and back away as far as I can from it. Okay. Standing up uses half your movement. Yep. As you break off, it'll get an attack of opportunity. Yep. <laughs> Down you go. Five points of damage. And down I go. <laughs> oh my god, they killed Burden. <laughs> Par for the course. That's two. Making can up we... for lost time. Yeah, can, we... can we go for three? <laughs> Quite possibly. Uh, jokester. Go for Burden's that. done. What what would you like to do? Go for the hat trick. It's looking at you now. Well, <clears throat> I suppose I'll use my daggers again. <laughs> Somebody take that voice changer away from him. Instead of voice changer, this is Satan. <laughs> That'll be a 21. The hits? If I could ever grab this damn thing. <laughs> His great big muscular fingers are having trouble grabbing onto the tiny dice. Oh my god. For the love of god. I'm not even looking. Stop showing off. <laughs> Be 11. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna hold on to that one. Did you get sneak attack? No. You do? It's one on one now. But he was looking at me. So how would I? Your just... raucous audacity, right? Yes. Oh. One on one, you get sneak attack with your character. Oh, okay. Well then, be plus another eight. That's a solid hit. That's a solid hit. That is a solid hit. <laughs> so whatever it was before, plus eight. Okay. Nineteen for the second. Damn. Slice and dice. Ten. Ten? Eight. No damage modifier. What about dexterity? That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Okay. Then. Ignore your modifiers. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Alright. So ten total. Only right. on the second attack. So as your your two blades sink deep into it, uh, it kind of looks at you, almost kind of like a smile, and then it comes at you. Uh oh, you put a smile on its face. Uh -huh. That's a first. <laughs> Apparently, I did. <laughs> hey guys, I think I'm in trouble. Normally, he gets looks of disdain. So. Well, you luck out. Uh, you take a total of six points of damage as one claw rakes down your face and it clamps its jaws on the left side of your neck. 
No, not the face. And that's, I need you to make constitution tape. That's the money maker. <laughs> He's 17. All right. You feel a burning sensation, and then it dissipates. Yeah. So, Dr. Arnold. So. Now use the explosives. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna use my eye for detail. Okay. The bonus action. Mm-hmm. To look for something in the cave. Look for a weak point. Look for something that could help us turn the tide of battle. Shut up. <laughs> what kind of it's a perception check <laughs> to look for a hidden spot or creature weak points etc six <laughs> <laughs> the anticipation was worth it though <laughs> you see, see nothing that jumps out at you that would help you out <laughs> that's not good World's greatest detective, ladies and gentlemen. Well, see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna try something new. I have an oil flask. Okay. Two of them. Okay. I'm gonna throw one on its back. Okay. Dexterity. Yep. Well, it's attached to nine. The <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it kind of splashes against Jokester's head on the creature's head down Jokester's chest and Wait, I'm it, sorry, eleven. It, it's still the same effect. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my dexterity. You, you kind kind of you did hit it, but you got quite a bit on Jokester also. That'll be fine. <laughs> He's got lots of makeup. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> that it. I'm done. Okay. Doctor. All right. So I'm going to try something different. So I'm going to say a a quick prayer to Phobos. I'm going to present my holy symbol. And I'm going to cast Moonbeam. Ooh. Which is romantic. It's a second level spell. Now, it's a cylinder that's five foot. I think it's a five foot radius. Mm -hmm. But I want to position it so that it's only on the creature and not on Jokester. Okay. So it's a constitution save. It'll be 14. It takes 2d10 on full damage and half on half. It takes half damage on a success. It failed. Okay, so 2d10. And this is radiant damage. Mm-hmm. 12. Okay. So creatures start screaming as this bright moonbeam comes down out of the, the ceiling and it just burns them to a crisp. Turns it to ash and disappears. You couldn't have done that so Holy shit. What the hell did you do? I used the power of my god. That looked like the bat signal to me. <laughs> I, I can see why you would say that. Yeah, it's it's kind of my thing. <laughs> don't worry, I'll allow it. Why don't you step in the beam and see what happens? Hard pass. <laughs> Burden, are you? Oh wait, he's dead. <laughs> oh, my bonus action, I cast healing word on Burden. Thank you. <laughs> hey, it's dead. You don't need to use bonus action. We out of combat? Yes. Okay. Um, Just heal me. Wait. Let me do it. I think I have a healing potion left. Go for it. If you don't, I have one. Go for it, but let me use it. Oh, man. I should just do it. Want to save it? I know know what you're thinking. Just do it. Give him the poison we we got from earlier in the campaign. Just just do it. I'm going to hand Nocturnal the mystery healing potion. Okay. (laughs) It looks like a normal healing potion, yeah, but it it's, does. it's the mystery healing potion. Okay. Well, here you go, Mr. Nocturnal. Here. Thank you. Oh. 
My sweet bearded. What's wrong with you? Wake up. Wake up. All right, give me the damn potion. <laughs> There's a burden in my hands. <laughs> So I need you to make a constitution save. I saved you. You're welcome. Uh, nat 20. Okay. So. Holy shit. <laughs> you got it. You do heal. You see me standing back there taking notes as you're <laughs> giving him the potion. Uh, wait, how much do I heal for? You, uh... Heal 44 plus 8. Whoa! I feel good! Do, and I, I, he rolled an at 20 in the con save, but do I notice any side effects? Uh, roll for you it. see no side effects. Okay. Roll for what? 4d4. Oh. You just plus see eight. A, an amazing heal take place. We'll call that an outlier. You're a liar. I have two more of those. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to using the next one. Uh, 18. Okay. And I bounce up and I say, hoo, hoo, hoo. that'll put some hair on your chest. Oh, I was hoping. Yeah, he's he's he's. Well, bad. when you when your eyes open up, what you see is Nocturnal's face right in front of you. He's giving a mouth to mouth. <laughs> I'll save you, buddy. All right, next time, just let me die. Start doing chest compressions. <laughs> For this to work, you have to lay back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is what you got to look forward to next time you pass out. <laughs> Everyone gets one. So I'm gonna use my uh, I'm gonna use my second wind real quick uh, just to try to mitigate this from happening ever again. Yeah, that's once per, sh per short rest, right? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, I remember. No, it's a good ability. Good ability. Damn, Doc! I don't know how you pulled that out, but that thing just incinerated. And I heal for another eleven. Okay. Is there any reason that we can think of as to why that would have happened from that attack? Well, all I know from what I have learned through prayer and meditation, because you learn a lot through prayer and meditation, <coughs> is that it's radiant damage. So I suspect that this creature may have been weak to radiant damage. Hmm. Wasn't wearing any sunblock. <laughs> Stupid thing. <laughs> Need that 50 SPF for moon block. That damn moon. Well, technically, moonlight is really just sunlight. It's just Shh, sunlight shut up. off the of moon. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, make note of that. I already did, Mr. Never came across that again. Excellent idea. I trust you. Let's move forward. I trust you, too. Actually, jokester. Do some digging for some platinum. Check it out. Absolutely. Oh yeah, me too. Daddy needs to get paid if he's gonna die twice an <clears throat> episode. Fourteen. Sixteen. Fine. Thirteen pieces nocturnal. Terrible. Terrible. He found one piece, jokester. Wow. <laughs> the sixteen? <laughs> It's a percentage roll. Oh. Dirty 20. Okay. 36. Oh, that'll work. And I'm looking to. It's investigation, right? Yes. 16? 25. I'm sorry, how much did I find? You found 36. Yeah, 36. Oh, thank you. All right. Is everybody good? Sort of? Great. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm like minus one. So I'm, I'm, I'm set. Let's keep on moving forward. Okay. So you keep on going? Let me stealth. Okay. I'll take lead. Okay. The rest of you guys need some light. It's yeah. dark in here. Press the digitation. So I got a little flame coming up. 
off my head. Okay. So now we can see a little bit. Whatever. <laughs> 17. Okay. Anybody else trying stealth? Oh, yes. That 20. 27 okay. total. Damn. Uh, Ninja Jokester. Jokester disappears into the shadows. 16. Okay. You're hidden fairly well. All right. So you guys continue along. You go about another 60 feet. And at the end of the tunnel, end of this cavern, it drops down to about 10 feet wide. And it turns into a circular cavern instead of a chiseled out cavern. Um, around this portion, there are five warrior ants guarding this spot. Gentlemen, we need to proceed with caution. How far ahead are they? They're about uh, 80 feet. I got my longbow. Need to blow them up. Set a trap. Y'all agreed? Blow away, Captain. Yes. All right. I mean, blow them away, Captain. Whatever. Do both. Or both. I'm going to do steady aim. Okay. I'm already stealth. Use one of my uh, explosive arrows. Okay. 23. All right. You hit dead into the center of them. Yes. And only one of them made its savings throw. Only eight damage. Only eight, okay. So you really just pissed them off? Yes. All right. The tunnel behind them collapses um, to the point where you don't see any way through, and the five come forward. Burden, you know you're seen. Nobody else knows if they're seen. Yep. But they're coming. Good. Wait, don't I give up my position when I fire, yes. though? But that was a free round, right? Yes. So I'm just going to sit back in the shadows and let you does, handle this. Does he get a free round, too? Because he was also stealth. If he wishes. Are, are we yeah. in combat yet? Mm. We're about to be. Okay. Whoever was stealth gets a free attack, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you do, do it well. May I go before you real quick? Go right. This is going to help you out. Go right ahead. Because I was I was stealth too, right? Yeah. Okay. This will definitely reveal me, but I'm going to cast bless on burden, nocturnal, and jokester. Okay. What does that do again? It adds a d4 to their attack rolls. Sweet. For how long? For 10 rounds. Sweet. So, ooh, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot the one that's up in front with my short bow. With advantage. <coughs> or not. Be 16. 16 just barely hits. Okay. Yeah, nine points of damage. Sneak attack. Twelve points of damage. <laughs> Was that only one die? Yes. Roll two. <laughs> oh, <for> fuck's sake. <laughs> Seventeen. Much better. <laughs> Next campaign, you're on your own. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two decent. All right. It changes as you level up. <laughs> Roll for initiative, gentlemen. This will be fun. And bless is for attack rolls and saving throws, so keep that in mind. Cool. Dirty 20. 
13. 8. Number 8. Uh. <laughs> Jinx. Number no, eight. I got the reference. I got it. Yes. No. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> so it's going to be Nocturnal Jokester, the Five Ants, and then Doctor and Burden. Which one of you has the higher decks? Oh, he, it's definitely him. <laughs> I have a minus one. <sighs> yeah, well, I got a plus two. So it'll be Burden and then the Doctor pulling up the back. All right, Nocturnal, you start us off. Are they still clustered together? Um, three of them are. Two of them kind of broke off a little bit. I'm for the group of three. Okay. I got, what, two more explosive arrows mm -hmm. left? Gotta do it. I'd like to aim at one in particular, though. Okay. So will it take the D8 from the longbow? Yep. And explosive? Yep. Let's do that. Okay. I like the stealth first. 16. Okay. Attack with advantage. Don't forget your d4. You are blessed, sir. Don't think I'll need it. You are oh, shit. I should have used I was supposed to use a d4 on my last one, too. <laughs> you still hit it. 23. It hits. Now that D4 can make a difference. Ah, uh, so that's just for the attack roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, I I'll do the D8 first. Okay. With the arrow. Okay. <laughs> Five. <laughs> and now, boom, boom. Twelve. Twelve points. Twelve points explosive. I'm sorry, I forgot. Sneak attack. Shut up. Instant karma. Plus seven to the normal, the first one okay. I hit. The one I was aiming at. Okay. My apologies. Won't happen again. It probably I can't promise done. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to get the fuck out of there. Ooh. 40 feet back, all the way. So... Oh, so that bliss, is that on just your first attack or if you attack? For 10 rounds. It's every attack you make for 10 rounds. Every saving throw you make for 10 rounds. Unless I lose concentration. So I need Burden, Nocturnal. Did you move back from... When you did your thing? I don't remember if you moved back. No, I didn't say I moved back. Okay. I need... And you didn't move back. Mm -hmm. So I need all four of you to roll a deck save as this portion of the cave is collapsing. Oh, is that wow. before or after my mobility? Yeah. It, it's as you're running, you need to see if you can outrun the cave in. Okay. Is what 24. you do. 24? 24. 24. You succeed. 13? 13 does not succeed. Twenty-two. That succeeds. Twenty-one. That succeeds. Doctor. Keep concentrating. I'm gonna try. <laughs> That's a Ooh. lot of dice. You take twenty points of bludgeoning damage, and you are three quarters buried. Ooh, not two hundred. Oh, that's not good. No, no, not too much. <laughs> <clears throat> the good thing is, is you killed all the ants. Win-win. Silver lining. I have to roll a, a con save for my concentration. I guess it doesn't matter if we're out of combat. Yeah. I, I, I kept concentration. Hey, you kept concentration. Yes. <laughs> I never lost concentration. 
<laughs> I always believed in you. <laughs> You can you can see the good doctor's head, doctor. One arm, no. he's just kinda, uh. doctor. <laughs> I can't quite. Uh, let's touch tips. <laughs> <laughs> Save him, bird. Start digging. No problem. I've got this. And I grab him, and I gently, as gently as I can, try to lift him up out of the rubble. You gotta cradle him like a baby if you succeed. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> I do not succeed. <laughs> uh, seven. So, you go up there, you grab him underneath the shoulders, but what you don't realize is you're standing on his back. And you're... <clears throat> you're standing on my back. I'm sorry, but I'm this... You know what? I'm sorry, you, you grew a few inches. Morad. <laughs> Jokester, start tossing rocks off of Let's go. Me oh. and Jokester, start tossing rocks. All right. I'll start tossing rocks. I'll help them with some rocks, too. So you guys take a few turns and you dig out the good doctor. <laughs> While I'm at it, I'd like to keep my eye out for platinum. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes a few extra turns to dig out the doctor. Go ahead and do your investigation. <laughs> 17. He's like, got his hand up, ready to grab him. Starts pulling him up. Oh, looks a platinum. <laughs> Drops the doctor. Got to a little asshole. You find 19 pieces. Worth it. I'm going to help the doctor to his feet. Okay. Just kind of dust myself off. Doctor, adjust your tie a little. You said 19. There you go. Yes. 19. Perfect for combat. Uh, doctor, how are your hit points looking? 20 fewer than before. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cast Healing Word on No, him. don't don't bother. I, I see you go to cast the spell, and I say, don't bother. Okay. Spell jammer. All I That's not a thing. thing. I appreciate your concern, but I shall be fine, Mr. Burden. Okay. Oh, you broke his poor little heart. <laughs> Doc. Save your spell slots. Okay. You okay, Doc? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, depends on what we do from here. Who would have thought an explosion in a cave and a mine shaft would be such a terrible idea? Maybe be a little bit more careful next time, Mr. Nocturnal. I don't decide the rules of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I was willing to risk it. Roll the dice, as it were. <laughs> if I stay far enough behind, I should be okay? Probably a good idea from now on. With that said, well, the tunnel up ahead is uh, blocked, so... Oh, yes, it is very blocked. <laughs> I suppose we gotta head on back. I'll look for some platinum before okay. we go, now that I'm out of the rubble. Okay. Same uh, here. I'll look with him. <laughs> 19. Okay. Wait. Perception? Investigation. 23. Investigation. Same. 23. Okay. So, Nocturnal, 35. Uh, 15? Excuse me. I touched his daggers. 15. <laughs> hey, all right. Just the tip. <laughs> 12. 12? Mm -hmm. Disgusting. Uh, you didn't... <laughs> One piece. <laughs> Every little bit helps. You're, you're, you're still traumatized from yeah. being buried. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting rich off of this submission. Oh, we're definitely going to pool all of it when we're done, Mr. Burden. I'm sorry, say what now? We're going to pool all of it when we're done. I'm sorry, come again? You heard me. <laughs> what a dick. I hate to tell you this, guys. Maldoon finds out we're keeping any of this. We're going to be up Shit Creek. Oh, come on. How could he possibly find out? I don't know. He's got spies everywhere. Eyes and ears in every corner of these lands. You know, Barely. That, that's just some paranoia. You, you, you guys are paranoid. You guys are... <laughs> Absolutely. 
we're gonna right. make our way back. You want to dig through this tunnel? See if we can find any platinum on the other side? Or just say fuck it. How long do you think it would take to dig through this tunnel? Investigation check. Sure. And Guidance. Nat 20. Okay. Uh, it would take you an extremely long time. Fuck this shit. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Obviously a dead head. <laughs> Astute assessment, Mr. Nocturnal. All right. Now let's go to the west. We got better places to be. All Here's- right, Kanye. <laughs> There wasn't a western direction, was there? No. Southeast and south. Wait, what tunnel were we just in? East. Southeast. Which way would we have to head to get to the other tunnels? Southeast and south are the two we haven't done yet. After we backtrack out of this tunnel, we'll be heading southeast. And backtracking would take us? (laughs) The opposite of east. (laughs) Which is? Just lead the Please way, stop. Mr. Vernon. <laughs> Can we drop this one? Press the digitation, got the little flame, walking along. Stealth. Walking along. Okay. Take lead. 16. Okay. We're all stealthing, right? Everybody except for Burton, because he's a torch. I'm a human torch. 11. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> At least it wasn't in that one. <laughs> so, Got the tin no, man no, back Colonel, here. You're about the only one that's <laughs> hiding at all. <laughs> Got the tin man back here, clinking and a clunking. <laughs> I'm also staying behind everyone now. Okay. I'm in the I'm in the very back. Okay. Uh, you guys get back to the the room with the elevator, <clears throat> and you have the southeast or the south to go. Southeast. Okay. That is. Both of these both have rails on them. Um, You go southeast for about uh, 60 feet, and it turns to the east. Um, I need you to do a perception check for me, Nocturnal. Before we do that, I'd like to talk to Jokester as he's walking along with me. Okay. Jokester, Doc seems injured. I'd like you to fall back. Keep an eye on him. Oh, I got his back. Gotcha. I'll take point. With that, perception? Mm Mm-hmm. 22. 22. Okay. Good doctor. I got your back. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Oh, joy. (laughs) You're welcome. Thank you. Y'all should have some interesting chatter between the two of you. (laughs) So, (laughs) about uh, 100 feet in front of you, uh, you see that the cavern opens up quite largely. Uh, you do see building structures, mine carts, um, several dead ants, and you hear in the, in the distance, you hear kind of like a war cry. Um, but you're not, not sure what it is, who it is or exactly where up there it's coming from. Guys, I hear something. Double time. Stealth it up. (laughs) (laughs) Right behind you, Mr. Nocturnal. (laughs) This will go over well. (laughs) Gonna have to dash for it. Not to reveal my position with Clunky Boy. <laughs> so you dash forward. Uh, there's two smaller buildings to your your right. They're about thirty by thirty. Uh, there's one larger building. It's uh, about forty by a hundred feet long. Uh, there are several giant ants currently trying to break in through the side, and every now and again you you see a spear come poking through. What do you make of that? There's people under attack. We gotta help them. Are they friendly? About to find out. How many ants were there? Uh, there's currently seven ants trying to break through this wall. If I were to use the explosive arrow, 
<laughs> Would the wall protect the people on the other side? <laughs> Possibly. Shrug? Good enough for me. <laughs> what is it called when you don't learn a lesson? I don't know. Never learned it. Insanity. <laughs> is there a group of them next to the doors? Uh, yeah, they're they're all grouped together. They're all trying to break. You you see one weak spot in the wall, and it looks like they're all trying to break that part of the wall down. Help them succeed. How far ahead is Nocturnal from Doc and I? Um, how far back were you hanging back? I'm slower when we're moving, so I would have been at least twenty to thirty feet. Okay, then we should be all right. But just in case, I'm going to step out in front of the good doctor. Okay. I'm going to yell to the people behind the, the door. Take cover. Okay. As loud as I can. Incoming. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My last arrow, I think. Yep. Steady aim. Okay. That 20. All right. You hit right where you want. Hell yeah. <laughs> Only one succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> Fuckers. Third them right. 14. 14. That's not bad. All right. That was doubled. <laughs> It was bad. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for him to double it, and then he goes, that was double. And I'm like, oh, nope. oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Oops. I'm out of arrows. Jokester, go in there. Slice and yice. <coughs> All right, gentlemen, I need your roll initiative. Greetings. I'm Burden. If you like what you see here, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on all of our social media accounts. And check out our Patreon for special exclusive content. Now, back to our program. Well, let's see what happens. Now, 20. Jeez. Dang. Makes up for all the damn ones. <laughs> 15. <laughs> 13. Six. Way to keep the pace, burden. <laughs> yeah. You're steadily getting worse tonight. You started off good. good I, 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 I'm taking over his <laughs> dirty rolls. He's not. He's a dick. Good job, buddy. It's called karma. What was that? Yes. Instant karma. <laughs> Get the listeners some smooth ASMR. Right about now. Please join us as we continue this combat. <laughs> this nocturnal just is juiced. All right, nocturnal. It's amazing. Start us off. Hold on, I'm plugging something. <laughs> just kidding. So what are the uh, what are the ants doing at this? Point? They're coming for you guys. They just, they're just coming. They're pissed. Ah, uh, and. You guys aren't behind a wall. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. Going to use uh, stealth. Okay. Thirteen. Not good enough. Damn. <laughs> Come on, he can at least still think he's stealth. Plus eight. Damn, no, thirteen. I'll shoot it. Uh, it's one of the ones running coming okay. towards me. Okay. Let's call them Ant One. Antoine. 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 Okay, go Antoine. for Antoine. Attacking Antoine. Antoine. <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one. That hits. No 
sneak attack. Damn it. <laughs> One. <laughs> On a fire. Five total. A masterful hit. <laughs> Terrible. So it kinda kinda goes down the, the side. Causes a little bit of damage. Five total. <laughs> back up. I'm gonna back up full forty feet. Okay. I'm so, done. So Nocturnal backs right up with you guys. Yeah, it's coming. How was that shot, Mr. Nocturnal? Perfect. Both of them. Well done. <laughs> I'm going to need you guys to create a wall in front of me. Lock arms. Shields up. <laughs> and I'm running. <laughs> I guess you just pissed them off. <laughs> oh, I poked a hornet's nest. Oh, sweet. I brought hell. And hell's coming with me. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I'm not forming a wall. I'm going to try and stealth. Okay. <laughs> it is my turn, correct? Yes. Not one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you're going to hide and you're like, boonk. <laughs> I go to hide and just squabark. Watch, just smack watch the wall. what you're doing, Mr. Jokester. <laughs> <laughs> well, since they can see me. I'll go ahead and... Uh, about how far away are they? Uh, they're currently... About 40 feet. They'll be on to you when they attack. Okay, I'm just going to shoot with my short bow. You attacking Antoine? 18. 18. <laughs> Let's say yes. You're taking Antoine. Antoine. Bless would have worn off by now, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh. What did you roll on the D4? Shit. Four. So, 14? 14 would not hit. No. Oh. That was 10 rounds already? Well, no, we left that combat and yeah. uh, circled around and... Crap. Yeah, it's only one minute. Ah, uh, crap, Polo. All right, so that, that arrow just kind of bounces off that hard armor that they have. Uh, I'm lie next go, time, goddamn. Go uh, back up. Okay. <laughs> back up all the way. So, so, jokester leaves you 30 feet. Shoom. <laughs> all right. Sorry, Typical. doctor. <laughs> so, let's see. Who are they going to attack? <laughs> all of them. Sorry, Bird. I'm not. <laughs> me neither. Oh, no, you're very sorry. Trust me. This will end well. Only one hit. You're okay. Damn. For, uh, 12 points of damage. I shrug it off. Ouch. Things got you around your waist. Just mandibles. where he likes. Mandibles just clamp down onto your hips. Yes, his hips. So when I dip, yeah. he dips. Crap. They dip. We dip. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, did, did you? Hold on the it was the ants, and then it's my turn. Yeah. Okay. It, well, half the ants, half and the then ant. it's your turn. Gotcha. Okay. Are any of them engaged with me? Not yet. Okay. They will be. So I'm gonna back up my full twenty feet. Okay. Am I? How close am I to everybody at this point? Uh, when you back up your full distance, you'll be basically even with um, Jokester. Nocturnal will be about 10 feet in front of you. Oh, hello and, again. And Burden is way up front. Is Burden within 30 feet of me or no? No. No? All right. Well, sorry, Mr. Burden. I am going to cast Bless on Nocturnal, Jokester, and myself. Okay. And I moved. I already moved back 20. Okay. Judas. Jokester, quick. That's my turn. Negotiate with the ants and then attack Dr. Straw. I <laughs> <laughs> worked last time. Uh, and totally went right according to plan the first time. <laughs> so right after you get done casting Bless... You hear, all right, boys, 
Somebody's out there. Let's go help them. And through the hole in the wall, five dwarves come running out with pickaxes and hammers. And they're just charging. Hell yeah. Can't quite get to the ants this turn, but they're coming. Hell yeah. Uh, hey, guys. Reinforcements. <laughs> are I'm they here for us or the ants? Clearly the ants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. How do we know that? My God, man. <laughs> Just don't, don't engage. Don't engage. I had to see more people running towards us. So. You're killing it. <laughs> You should negotiate with the ants and attack the dwarves now. <laughs> <laughs> so, Doctor, bad thing is, mm -hmm. they did hit you. They rolled? It's because of a natural 20. Ooh, yeah. So, that is uh, 24 points of damage. Oh. oh. I'm out. Jokester, it was your job to defend him. So I guess we no longer have bliss. Nope. <laughs> nope. Shit. Burden. I literally Burden. told you to protect him and you ran. <laughs> what the fuck, jokester? He ran back to me. So That's the only bad thing about having super good armor class. <laughs> when you get hit, you know it's going to be bad. Yeah, it's going to be bad. <laughs> so, uh, Shit. When, uh, 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 th these are worker ants or soldiers? No, these are soldiers. Oh, outstanding. How many are engaged with me now? I mean, I'm out, but... Uh, right now there is two engaged with you. Mm -hmm. um, two of them are going for Jokester, and Burden has three of them on him. Gotcha. Good lord. Somebody's got to do something. Who's turn it? It's mine. Shut up. I'm gonna say raise the dock. All right. So I still got one clamped on me, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to... Uh, uh, there's just no way this ends well for me. So, uh, I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm going to pull out my axe, and then I'm going to try to grab its head to steady it and bring the axe down so that way I can cut off the head as best I can. Okay. I'm cutting off the head. My way was cooler. Just like this. <laughs> Shut up. From the trajectory, what head are you talking about? The uh, head that's... Why? E either one that he can hit. <laughs> so either... Both. Both. Jeez. Uh, dirty 20. Okay, the hits. For six. Six? Yep. Bah. <laughs> yep. All right. Chip away at the stone. Slowly but surely. Nocturnal. No bonus action? Sound effects over there. <laughs> yeah, no, I got no bonus action. Yeah. Right you have no spell slots. Wait, I can cast a spell as a bonus action? Certain spells that would be very helpful in this very moment <laughs> you can cast as a bonus action. <laughs> I could have sworn you've done this before. You don't don't, don't just focus. Shh. I cast healing word on the good doctor. Okay. Thank fucking God. <laughs> that horse finally crossed that fucking finish line. <laughs> I already take Seabiscuit out the fucking Roll pasture. That sexy D4. Oh, I'm sorry. How many how many mistakes have you made already? None. <laughs> That's another one. Thousand, we'll have to modify face. his response later on. <laughs> Wait, what did I say? <laughs> you heal for eight. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> All right. Good doctor comes awake again. <gasps> Nocturnal. Me. Your turn. The ants are coming. Yeah. They're forming a line. Well, kind of. 
kind of a line. There's, there's one currently on top of the doctor, one next to the doctor, two going for jokester. They're kind of in a line. I got I've got one on me. Yeah, you're fine. Doctor. I knew he wasn't going to be. I'm on my right way. Way. I'll save you. I'm going to run over and try to rip the one that's on top of the doctor off. Okay. And throw it at Burden. <laughs> <laughs> strength check. You, yeah, you got to do a strength check to pick it up first. Nat 20. <laughs> okay. Shit, <laughs> throw it at Burden. <laughs> Do I need to roll the throat at him, or can I keep the net twenty? No, you gotta throw it at him. For double damage. You gotta throw Damn it at him. <laughs> you can do it again. Is that like a dex now, or just yes, drink again? Yes, dexterity. Twenty-two. <laughs> roll, roll a, and roll a d four. Is that the going price of ants nowadays? <laughs> it's an ant. So I had my dex modifier. Yeah. <laughs> six. Burton, you take six points of damage as this ant gets beamed into your head. <laughs> you kind of hear a nocturnal back there going, I got you, doctor. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. I'm going to help the doctor to his feet. That'll that's, be your whole turn that's, right there. That's everything. So you can help me to my feet then? <laughs> yeah, I'll, awesome. I'll allow it. I'm done. I can't Joke, do nothing else. Jokester. <laughs> what do you do? You have two ants coming after you. I broke the GM. My apologies. <laughs> I guess I'm going to go ahead and use my daggers. <laughs> 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 We love it, huh? <laughs> I can see the horns growing. Thirteen. Thirteen misses. Of course it does. The dagger just scrapes across that hard armor that they have. I'm gonna try with the other. Was he stealth? No. no. Damn. <laughs> Is it worse? It's worse. <laughs> All right. I never should have stole those things from you. <laughs> well done, demon jokester. <laughs> you just, daggers just keep bouncing off that hard armor. What do you do? I'm going to try to uh, stealth. Oh, wait, I can't. Disengage. I, 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 I dis, yep, disengage. Okay. Do you move away? Yes. Your second attack's your bonus. Oh, Can't that, disengage. That's right. Yep. I keep forgetting about that, oh. too. I'm sorry. My bad. You're good. Yeah. Okay. So I just disengage. Okay. Might as well stay there. Okay. All right. Here comes else. the hurt. Absorb some of the damage for Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> First, do no harm. It's a burden. That one does an additional eight points of damage. Oh. The other two still miss. Sweet. The, they have, the mandibles are snapping at you, but they just can't get a good hold on you. Can Burden go for three? <laughs> Doctor. The whole trifecta. All right, so I'm going to reach into my backpack and pull out one of the greater healing potions that I have. Okay. And drink it. Okay. So how many? What is the... Uh, greater is... 44 plus 4. Can I borrow a d4, please? If I can grab it. That's why I asked. <laughs> <laughs> 7. 13. 17. Okay. So I heal 17. Shit. And then... He's got a mountain of dice over there. This is the good part for you guys. <laughs> oh. This isn't the bad part. Oh, that's the good part. <coughs> Hold on. Good I, I still have a bonus action. Yep. Yeah, I'm just pre, pre-rolling pre <laughs> Pre-rolling my death. Nope. <laughs> Tell you, this is the good part. Oh, that's going to be the, oh, our, the, our the little dwarves. buddies. For my 
How many ants are left? All seven. All seven? For my bonus action, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. Where's my Spiritual Weapon? There it is. All right, I'm gonna put it next to one of the the ants that's right next to me. Okay. Because there's one. He one threw more. one of them, so yeah, there's one there's now. One more. There's two next to me now. No, there's just, just one. Just one. Okay. Because yeah, he threw the other one. <laughs> and then I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to attack it with the spiritual weapon. Ooh, that's good. Twenty-four to hit. That hits. That's eight. That's four. It's eight damage. Eight damage. All right. Where did Antoine go? <laughs> Antoine's the one around his waist. Was that Ant 2 or Ant 3? No, that was Ant B. That was Ant so, 1? I, Ant Alpha? <laughs> Your spiritual weapon comes down to smacks it. In the shape of a, a solid raven. Just okay. Pecking it. Big old orange raven comes down and just starts wailing on this Wait, giant ant. Orange or gold? orange. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, at the end of that, the five dwarves come up to you. They manage to take the one off you. My heroes. And We're sleepy and dopey. <laughs> right there. <laughs> That was quick. Speaking of quick. Big brain. E, where are we at on time? Oh. And they kill one of the ants. So, that will bring it to the ants down by you guys. Sweet. And the one ant that he threw at you. <laughs> <laughs> So the one that he threw at you, uh, 19 to hit. <laughs> we all know it's a hit. Be eight points of damage. And it grabs you around your left leg. No, it doesn't. No, it does. You just passed out. After it does it. Doctor, you are missed. You're never going to be allowed to sleep again. And Jokester, ooh, take uh, 13 points of damage as one muckles a hold of your Ouch. right arm. Sexy. And that will bring it, because Burden's passed out, <laughs> Nocturnal. Doctor, give me another potion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I can't hand it to you, but it's in, it's in the bag of holding that's on me. <laughs> you would know that it's in the bag of holding. No, you would know it's in my backpack. They're in my backpack. Don't do it. Do we dare do this again? Do it. I already said I was. Let's do it. I'm run to his backpack. Oh, the mystery potion, right? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. The mystery potions are in the bag of holding, but you would know that. Oh, I need a healing potion. Okay. Okay. If you're grabbing it, I can't. I'm not going to stop you. I'm going for it. All right. Then I run back to my suite. Beautiful bird. Oh, son of a... No! Uh, one more time. No! Here. Some nocturnal justice. Heal him. <laughs> Heal him. Make a constitution save. <laughs> Wait, I thought this was a normal healing. Nope. No. You you said... You said mystery, right? Or no? No. You said the mysteries were in your bag of holding. So you, you took the greater healing then? Greater healing from the backpack. Okay. Oh. He took the greater healing. Okay, so yeah. took the greater healing, then okay. you just roll 4d4 plus 4. 4d4 plus 4. That makes You're sense. Welcome. You saw me reach to my backpack, you would have gone there. I'm pretty sure I'm not even aware of the extra potions you have in the bag holding. You would have seen me pulling out earlier. The ones that Everglade gave you, I wouldn't know about. You wouldn't know what they are, but you saw me pulling out earlier. Maybe. I'm back up to 16. All right. So that would have used up 
everything that you could have done. I uh, think you, so. Yeah, because you'd have to get into his backpack and you'd use your movement yep. and your action. Yep. I'm done. Jokester. Burden. We're under attack. <laughs> you fell asleep. Your narcolepsy's out of control. Yeah. Get well, together, I guess, man. I guess you can sleep soundly. <laughs> your narcolepsy's really affecting the body chemistry. You should get it together and help us out. Quick, do something. When it's your turn. When it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> can try my daggers again. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. Dirty 20. That hits? Yes. It hits for two. <laughs> so when you look at my bag, you see that I have one greater healing potion left. Which one are you decking? 14. 14. All right. 14 damage. Need to know which one he's decking. Probably one of the ones that's attacking him. Right next to me. Is it one on one or is he surrounded? No, he's got two on him. Okay. No I'm sneak attack then. I'm gonna go for the same one with the second dagger. And it misses. Okay. <laughs> well done. So your first dagger sinks in deep. Your second dagger just scrapes across that armor. Let's see, there's two ants left up there. They would attack the dwarves because that's who's attacking them right now. Hit. Doctor, it is your turn. Is there one still engaged with me? Uh, yes. Okay. There is. So for my bonus action, I'm going to attack it with my spiritual weapon. Okay. Fifteen? Fifteen does not hit. Oh. I'm going to use my action to disengage. I'm going to move back my full 20. Okay. All right. So you move away. That bring it to the dwarves. Just curious. Yes. The ant I threw. Yes. Did it take damage too? It uh, actually would have. It would have taken the same amount. Oh, nice. You're welcome. <laughs> that, that was... <laughs> <laughs> I believe it was six. <laughs> because you gave me the greater healing potion, I'll let that slide. <clears throat> Dwarves didn't do as good this time around. Dwarves are trying to beat up on one giant ant, not doing a whole lot to it. <clears throat> Let's see, the one next to you, Doctor. Ooh. Let's see, so 23. That hits. That hits. It's not doubled this time. That's good. Uh, be 12 points of damage. Still standing. All right. And two against you, Jokester. This uh, ought to be fun. 18. Ooh. That's the one that possibly hit you. Hit. A hit. Yep. Four points of damage. Oh, thank God. Bad off easy. Bad rolls. All right, <laughs> so. Burden, you're still down, right? No. No? You're up? I am up. You're up. I made, him chug a I made him chug a lug. That's yeah. right. You chug a lug. Yeah. He drinks a lot. <laughs> you seriously got to stop sticking things down my throat. <laughs> I don't tell you how to live. Crazy. Just saying, it's a choking hazard. <laughs> Burden. Phrasing. Finish these ants off. All right. Do something. All right. So I'm going to go... Let's see, the dwarves are dealing with one right now, right? Yeah. I'm, 
I'm gonna go up to them because they helped me and so I'm gonna help them and so I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna bring it back to a classic the old double fister and I'm gonna raise them up triumphantly in the air and I'm gonna bring it down smack right on its head all right you forgot to wave them around like you just don't care oh but I do care pantomime it again don't stop moving <laughs> it's powering up to over 9,000. <laughs> That's not 9,000. More like a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. See what happens when I flourish? We're, we're doing awesome. <laughs> you it's run okay, up, guys. We'll, you run up we'll okay. to this little opening between the dwarfs. You raise up your arms and you trip over the ant. <laughs> Does this little rave dance? <laughs> Tripped over. Looked like a moron. <laughs> it's fine. Nocturnal, it's your turn. Christ Almighty. The one that's on him. Want to steady aim that ant? Okay. Put this little bastard out of his misery. Okay. 18. 18 hits. Sneak attack because it's engaged. Yep. <sighs> 16 points of damage. 16. Nice. Oh. Damn. All right, it's got some wear and tear on it. It's hurt. All right, jokes. Are you doing anything else? No, you did your steady aim. So you steady aim. Move, That's so. my bonus and movement. So there you go, jokester. Scouting on at the kill it, but whatever. He came close. Bastard, spit on him. Almost. There you go. Spit on him. I gotta use my daggers. I have to piss and we're over two hours. Let's wrap this up. I have one, 140. Yeah, we're not close, dude. He just showed me the two. The two messengers, two on. Read 24. I said, show me two <laughs> when we're at two hours. He showed me two. Play the game already. <laughs> Don't argue with the producer. Be ten. Ten? <laughs> if the producer says we're done, we're done. <laughs> he showed me the oh, targeting. Targeting the same ant. Okay. Oh, okay. the second dagger. Hail Zayden. Sixteen. Sixteen? Barely hits. Drop the dice. <laughs> ten. How much? I'll be ten. Ten? Okay. Nice. And on that note, <clears throat> I've got to go pee. <laughs> Care to give me a pause, producer? <laughs> Whatever. You can see my jammies. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh God, no! I'm gonna do that when I come back. <laughs> 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 he hit the thing on his way out. <laughs> He's not one for an attention to detail. Uh, so, the two giant ants that are fighting with the, the dwarves, uh, they attack one dwarf and he's hurting pretty bad. Uh, they're both on top of him. And that will bring it to you, Dr. Straw. So I'm going to move the spiritual weapon up to me. Okay. Because it was 20 feet away because I had moved back. So I move it up 20. 
And I will have it attack the ant. Okay. 19. That hit? It's a good solid hit. That's good. 12 points of damage. That's all you needed. Exactly what you needed. As your spiritual weapon comes down, that that raven just tears big old hole in the side of the ant and falls down dead. Brings it to the dwarf. I'm going to back up still. Okay. 20 more feet. All right. smoky over there, Burden. <laughs> All right, the dwarves beat the heck out of one. I'm coming. And it's almost dead. We get to edit this part out. Oh, we kept playing, sir. Ah. Yes, we did. <laughs> Everyone's gonna see my sweatpants. Fuck it. I can, I can put a bar if you want. Jokester. Make it look like I was nude. <laughs> Jokester. Ant muckles a hold of your left leg. Sweet. Doing 11 points of damage. Sweet. I killed the ant that was on me with my spiritual weapon. Nice. And after that, bring it to you, Burden. Lying face down in the dirt. It's about right. Bring it home, Mr. Burden. All right. I'm going to get back up. All right. And then... I'm going to face the ant that I tripped on, and then I'm going to use my big burden boots, and I'm going to try to stamp it, stamp it out. Okay. That's better. Nat twenty. All right. Nice. Hit. Put it out of its misery. Four. Four? Uh, it's hurting. Doubled. Oh, yes. So doubled to eight. That's exactly what you needed. As ah. you stomp its head into the ground. Ah. Burden squish. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the DC equivalent of Hulk smash. <laughs> <laughs> Nocturnal <laughs> brings it to you. What do we got left? Uh, two fighting uh, Jokester and two up there were Burden and the Dwarf. Well, I'll help Jokester. <clears throat> Steady aim. Okay. Does one of them look damaged? Yeah, one one's hurt pretty bad and one isn't too bad. Go for the one that's hurt. Okay. Steady aim. Okay. 16. 16? That uh, barely hits. Oh, yeah. Sneak attack because it's engaged? Yes. Wow, that's shit. <laughs> 13. Well, that ain't too bad. I was expecting a much lower number. I was too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so that oh. ant's hurting pretty bad. Doing in, uh, no, you did your study aim. Jokester, your turn. No. No. Minus two. Minus two. Okay. So, yeah. He's still hurting pretty bad. So do that to the uh, the same ant. I'm going to bring out the daggers again. <laughs> I'm going to use both at the same time. All right. Drive it right down. They both miss. <laughs> 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 
So <laughs> you bring both daggers up, you come down and put one on each side of his head into the dirt, into the dirt. <laughs> Just kind of staring at it. <laughs> I thought these were supposed to be OP. <laughs> You have to hit with them for them to actually do OP damage. <laughs> Go sure you may not be hurting any ants, but you're killing me, buddy. <laughs> These two need one hit. Uh, the two giant ants help with burden and the, the dwarves miss. Uh, doctor. Okay, doctor? so... I am back 20 feet from my spiritual weapon. Mm -hmm. I can move it 20 feet up. Would that be enough to get it to one of the ants? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll move it up 20 feet. Okay. And which ants is it near? His or his? His. His, okay. So I will attack the one that looks the most damaged with the spiritual weapon. Okay. Eleven. Nope. The, the raven just kind of bounces off its armor. Is it within 60 feet of me? Yes. Okay. So then I will cast Toll the Dead on the same one. Okay. It fails. Nine. Nine. It is on its last leg, but it's still holding. I'll move up 10 feet because okay. they're further back now. So. Okay. So I'll bring it to the dwarfs. Dwarves just eradicate that one that they've been hammering on. Nice. I knew they could do it. How many we got left? Uh, there's a total of three. The two that are back with Jokester, one's almost dead, one's okay. And then there's one up with the Burden and the Dwarves that's pretty good still. And let's see. The one on Jokester. Miss. 18 does hit you though, right? Yes. <laughs> Seven points of damage has Nighty been. night, folks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give me a potion. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to pantomime it from here, though. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Nocturnal, we only have one greater healing potion left. Burden, <sighs> it'll be your turn. All right. I'll heal him on my turn. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead. How many dwarves are up there with me? Five. All right, I'm going to chance it. I'm going to go ahead and I still got one there. So I'm going to attempt to grapple it. Okay. Right. Oh no. 17. 17 hits. Yes! What is he doing? And then, for my bonus action... <laughs> Mind your business. Please don't. It's, it's like a kid that just got caught doing something yeah, wrong. I wasn't said, paying attention, huh? <laughs> oh, no. You said you're grappling him? Uh, yeah, no, yes. Grappled him, and then for my bonus action, I'm going to be casting a uh, healing word on myself because I know I'm going to be taking some damage here. <laughs> Grapple's so useless. Uh, wait, I'm gonna make it useful. It's part of how he gets his bonus damage. Well, actually, actually, it can be useful because technically it makes their armor class drop because they don't get their dexterity bonus. Ants are renowned for their dexterity. <laughs> well, it is, I mean, four points helps. So I heal for uh, seven. Okay. So that'll bring it to you, Nocturnal. What we got left? Two on Jokester, one almost dead, one not so dead, and one up with Burden and the Dwarfs. Let's finish the one that's almost dead. Wait, Jokester's already down? Yeah. Uh, let's just finish that one off. Okay. Steady aim. Okay. All you gotta do is hit him. 17. That hits, and it is dead. Can I roll anyway? Yeah, absolutely. 
what it could have been. Calculating the overkill. Well, that's terrible. 14. <laughs> Drops down to negative 13. <laughs> so as your arrow pins it to the ground, just kind of stops moving. Doc, get Jokester up. I'll take the other one. Jeez. Absolutely, Mr. Nocturnal. That one misses. <laughs> the uh, Dr. Straw, your turn. So I'm going to reach into my bag of holding and pull out one of the mystery healing potions. <laughs> and I'm going to administer it to Mr. Jokester. Okay. <laughs> Jokester, need you make constitution savings though. I'm going to pull out a mystery beverage from the ice chest. <laughs> what could it be? Six. <laughs> okay. So you do heal 44 plus eight, but I need you to roll a D4, and that's how many turns you are passed out for. You are uh, unconscious. And for flavor, I'm taking notes as I <laughs> observe the potion. <laughs> you said four D4? For, for healing. Mm -hmm. 44 and plus then, eight. And then a D4 for how many turns he's going to be passed out. Three turns. Okay, so for the next three turns, you're passed out. But yeah, you do I... heal 4d4 plus 8. You want some d4s? Yes. Here. It's 12 plus 8. Did, you, did he roll four times? No, he rolled four die. Twelve plus eight is twenty. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I'm making a note of this too, Mr. Nocturnal. <laughs> Destroyed carpet. <laughs> Destroyed clothing. What is? What are YouTube gonna like? Want us to censor that? <laughs> I got a, I don't know the guidelines yet. Look, it's not what you Fuck. think it is. It's it's just a boogie. <laughs> it's got a little drooling problem. That's all. You need to stop drinking that Kool Aid. Christ Almighty. <laughs> too, too many well, that's to give him the potion. That was my whole turn. I, yeah, I had to pull it out of the bag and give it to him. And I'm making notes, so that that's my oh, turn. Oh yeah, yeah. That's my turn. <laughs> right. So the dwarves. <laughs> so I can tell that it healed him, but I also notice that he's not conscious. Right. Okay. Doing a scientific method during combat. <laughs> Every moment is an opportunity for a scientific discovery, Mr. Nocturnal. Can't argue that. <laughs> Hi, guys. You're unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> You passed out for three turns. Uh oh, I thought I just got passed out. Yeah, just lay there. Stop, stop drooling on the carpet. Too late. And there goes the other dagger. Burn. Yes. Well, the dagger wanted blood. And hit you for six points of damage. That's fine with me. It's on your left leg. <laughs> And uh, that will bring it to your turn. Excellent. Well, at the start of my turn, since I have him grappled, he automatically takes 1d4 damage. I read your character sheet the other day. And he takes the full four. All right. Itches. Now, I'm going to... Stop being so polite, Mr. Nocturnal. <laughs> right. 1.13. <laughs> 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 that was from Burns' mouth. I was rounding up. It was a joke from off camera. Don't don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm going to raise my arm up, and I'm going to strike it down. And since I am grappled with him, I have advantage. Was that the thirty, the thirty millimeter joke? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, definitely taking the seventeen. 
Oh, wait, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, 22. 22. To hit? To hit. Yes, that hits. Excellent. <clears throat> And he takes eight. Okay. <sighs> all right, it's hurting. Hurting pretty bad. Is that all you're doing? Uh, he... Yeah, I'm good. Nocturnal. What do we got left? You got the one by Jokester and the one up that's getting beaten up by the dwarfs and burden. Steady aim on the one by Jokester. 16. Barely hits. 18, sorry. That hits. It's the one episode I can't do math. <laughs> the one? <laughs> Remember, he can't do math. <laughs> <laughs> Counting is the foundation, so yeah, good, good call. He's in capped. No. He's unconscious, so you, I don't think you would yeah, know. Yeah, he, he's 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 not considered a threat. So, so it's no sneak. How close is he to it? He backed up. N no, I st I, did, I stayed with him and I gave him the potion. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So that's right. Sneak attack. He, he would be there. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's right. I saw him. Sixteen points of damage. Sixteen. All right. Now we're cooking. With gas. All right. So that arrow sinks deep into the ant. It's not liking it. For oh, justice. Not liking it at all. Dude, let's see. So, Jokester is passed out. So, that brings it to the ant's attack. It does not. 20 does not hit you, right? No. Okay. So, it does not. It kind of clinks against your armor. I just hit it away with my shield. <laughs> Just kind of block it. Ah. It's your turn. I'm going to move the spiritual weapon up to me. Okay. And I'll attack it with the spiritual weapon. All right. 14. 14 misses. All right. And then I will cast Hold the Dead on it. All right. It fails. This one's taking damage, right? Yes. Nine points of damage. Nice. Nice. All right. <laughs> Both ants are down to 11 points each. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you guys did good. Finish him off. Come on. Let's see. One up there. And that was one round for him being unconscious, right? Yes. Okay. He's got two more. Uh, Burton, that one does not do any additional damage to you. That's what I'm talking about. It's your turn. All right. Well, first... Give him the squeeze. He's got the uh, 1d4 coming. And he takes three. Three. Okay. So now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to crush his head with my hands. Just completely squeeze him like a pimple okay. or a zit. And I'm still grappled with him, so I still roll with advantage. Nocturnal. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, Peace to you, yeah, my brother, as well. Peace. <laughs> Come on. Eight. Exactly what you needed. Gosh! As yeah. you squeeze its head and it just pops in your hand. Nice. Burden squish. <laughs> <laughs> Brings it to you, Nocturnal. Last one's on him. Yes. It's gonna run up to it. Stealth first. Eighteen. Okay. Attack with my dagger. Okay. 20, dirty. That hits. Eleven. 
Eleven. That's exactly what you needed. As you yes. run up, you run up, you just <laughs> dive on its back and sink your dagger straight into it. <laughs> Fuck him. Combat is over. Five yeah, dwarves junior. look at you guys. Ah, thank you for coming to us. We were needing help. We were all dying down here. Glad we could assist you. Looks like you were in a tricky situation. It was. It was. You're, you're the missing team that they were looking for. Aye. That we be? Yes. We've rescued them. If you wish, you can come into the building. We'll patch the wall up. We can rest. You have been all damaged and this one sleeps. Why does he sleep? Oh, sorry about that. Uh, please, allow me. And I'll walk over and I'll give him a light little tap on the face. Hi. <laughs> you got a little something on... Never mind. <laughs> Looks fine. What, what, what happened? Where Get up. Ants? We're hiding inside the structure. Where, where are the ants? Let's go. <laughs> Okay. I finished them off. I bet you guys you did. gather around. Get him inside. I'll scout around while y'all do that. Excellent idea. All right. See before if the dwarves. I, before I go inside, I'm go inside go with the dwarves. <laughs> Damn it! I was literally right just in about front to go of the there. dwarves, Mister Jokester. Do they care? Probably. Yes. My suspicion, since they are working in this mine, they probably would. Can I stealth first? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll go in this. Drag okay. his carcass into the damn room. <laughs> right. I'll scout around while they're in there. Okay. I'll take Investigation. Fifteen. Find thirty five pieces. You. Now we are if if you wish to take more time when we start back up you can search the carts. We'll do that later, but, uh... All right. So we'll end off in, sleeping off into the building, uh, and that's where we'll pick up next time. Thank you for watching Super Cringe Roleplay. Until next time.